July, 1863. Confederate President Jeff Davis urges Lee to take the battle to the north. Lee sends Jeb Stuart around Union lines to invade the north in Pennsylvania. Stuart stumbles upon Gettysburg for no other reason than it warehouses boots, badly needed by his soldiers. Union generals Buford and Meade both converge on the rural Pennsylvania town. In no time at all, a ferocious battle begins. On the second day of fighting, in spite of the advice of his generals, Lee starts to attack the enemy's flanks at Little Round Top. The Federals must hold this position, or their entire line will be exposed to the southern attack. Soldier, a sizable line of Rebs is coming down on us fast. Use your sniper rifle to pick them off. It's the only chance we got!
Take over the big Gatling gun, son. Mow down anything that isn't already dead. from Commander Chamberlain. You're running out of ammo. Fix bayonets, men. We're going to charge. We've got no other option. Move! No mercy! Follow me! They're ours, man! Fix bayonets, man! We're going to charge! Hey! Wait, do pay! Follow me to glory! The third day of battle is no less fateful. Sensing victory, Lee orders General George Pickett to charge an open field where behind a stone wall, the Union Army holds Cemetery Ridge. At 2 p.m., Pickett begins his charge with 13,000 men. Red flags wave and bayonets shine in the July sun. It's an unimaginable slaughter. Single cannon blasts from the Union side kill a dozen packed together bodies at once. The Confederates reach the stone wall at one place only. They are all captured or killed. Taking full responsibility for the disastrous charge, Lee will never again attempt to invade the North. 6,500 Confederates die or are taken prisoner. All in all, 51,000 men on both sides are killed during three days of warfare. Despite Lincoln's urgent pleas, Meade refuses to attack the retreating army. His own troops are too exhausted. No one knows it yet, but it's the beginning of the end for the Confederacy.